a major landmark in St. Augustine. It looks different today. Work crews and two, two cranes removed uh, the big cross, copper cross, atop the dome of the Memorial Presbyterian Church this morning. First Coast News' Jessica Clark was the only television reporter on site when that big cross came down. Friday morning, two cranes roped off streets and lots of activity on the ground set the scene to rescue a cross in the sky. It's, it is a huge undertaking. The 14 foot long cross at Memorial Presbyterian Church in St. Augustine toppled during Hurricane Irma and it has been laying on the dome for nearly two months. I just think this is so neat. Karen Harvey is an author and church member. Yes for 40 years. She could not miss watching the workmen remove and lower the cross Friday. Because I remember the cranes and then putting this up in 1992. The third cross for the 127 year old church that Henry Flagler built. For 127 years it's been an integral part of our skyline. People here understand the importance of saving this cross and not damaging the dome even more. Now that we're here, there's a little bit of anxiety this morning. <laughs> it's a landmark. That cross is seen from everywhere. This is part of a prototype that was used to make the cross that's on the dome. And it's made out of pure copper, just like the one up there, and it is heavy. This piece right here weighs at least 15 to 20 pounds. It's heavier than steel per square foot. Tom McConnell made the cross in 1992. The 14 foot long structure weighs 900 pounds. And then eventually Friday morning, it was time to take the cross down. Two men in a basket were lifted onto the dome and secured the cross. This larger crane will grab the cross. While people watched from below, and then a cable lifted the cross off the dome. And then bring it on down for us. All the way down. There was a collective sigh of relief that the cross, while bent, was safe. Oh, it's a wonderful, wonderful wow. This is coming. It came down successfully. It's going to be OK. There's not that much damage. And now the cross and the dome can be repaired so they can be a beacon of hope as part of the city's skyline once again. In St. Augustine, Jessica Clark, First Coast News on your side.